Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm in, of course, Stardew Valley and Moridar Fishes. I wish there was some way to interact with the fish, other than, like, you know, hoisting the entire fish tank up, which is probably not particularly comfortable for the fish, let's be honest with ourselves. All uh, right, let's get some tea on, and then uh, let's check how the day is going to go. Let's have a look in the weather report. Uh, it is going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow for Harvey's birthday, marvellous. And the fortune teller? Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that's unfortunate, I must say. That is not the best. We got some mail, though. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Thank you very much, Emily. That's incredibly kind of you. I love the fact that Emily has a little emojis in her letters. But a die, Yoko. Now, I've had a lot of advice on what tool to upgrade. And there are compelling reasons to upgrade the pickaxe. Namely, that it will drastically improve how quickly I can uh, mine, since certain rocks will then become a one-hit mine rather than two hits. But... There's also compelling reason to upgrade my fishing rod. Uh, sorry, my, my fishing rod. My watering can. Again, with the confusing my watering can and my fishing rod. What is... Why am I confusing those two things? But uh, the watering can, since I'm not really going to be using it, now would be a decent time to upgrade it, I think. What it, dark girls. There we go. Let's get you some... Uh, some... Fodder down. Collect the cheese. And I believe... Cows need to be milked daily. At least they do in real life. There we go. I think it's the goats that require, um, that uh, take two days per milking. Uh, we are going to leave one of those behind. And I'm going to take the gold star. We're going to sell that one directly. And the reason I'm going to do that, someone reminded me, that it may well be worth my effort to sell one instance of an item just so that I've got that uh, completion in my collections. There we go. Got it, dark girls. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Let me fill your feed trough. There you go. Uh, and with that, well, let me just double check. I'm fairly certain I just fed the cows. But, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm ultra paranoid now. <laughs> I'm ultra paranoid after having uh, forgotten to feed the chickens. Uh, right, let's see what you are. A little bit of stone, that's fine. Right, let's make our way up here, check in on the, uh, on the various taps. Uh, those ones can be left a little bit longer. I do need to get more taps, though. Uh, we'll collect the acorns and the, uh, the various tree seeds. Probably want to get the tree stumps as well, actually. Oh, winter root, nice. Right, let's go ahead. And get these tree stumps chopped down. Now, I've only got enough to do one of two things. I can either... Money, that is. I can either upgrade one of my tools, or that is a certain building that I am strongly tempted to get. I see you there, Wiggly Worms. You thought hiding behind the tree would save you, but no. Eagle-eyed Avak today. Uh, oh, I have another, another set of Wiggly Worms as well. Some coal this time. Very well. Uh, let's pop on in, see how the bats are doing. Not too much today, bats. I hope you're you're not struggling too hard to find food. But thank you very much for for leaving me some leftovers, at the very least. Now, hmm, I think we're going to move all of these. Not sure where we're going to move them to yet, but we are moving them. And we will see why in a moment. Uh, perhaps we can move them down here. I I think hmm, uh, we could have some of them down there, yes, but I think I'd rather not. I, I think perhaps we could just have them stacked up down here instead. That should be fine. So we'll have four uh, charcoal kilns and then four furnaces. And that should be okay. There we go. We are leaving this spot conspicuously free. Do I have enough of what I'm planning? Yes, I do. Perfect. In fact, we definitely don't need that much. I need to grab a copper bar, though, for Elliot. And let's get these being processed as well. And I would like to sell the... Oh, actually, we can sell those. Um, 
and we can sell the milk and we can sell the cheese as well okay wonderful let's go and drop off the rest of these items now i've uh, got some more tea that we can do there we go and we want to drop off these little last bits and bobs i think that's good enough for now uh yeah, I, I, I don't think there's much more we need to do. However, one last thing I'm going to pick up there. And uh, it may be very obvious what I intend to do for, for some of you. But for those who might not realize the significance, I was under the impression somewhere along the line I got very confused and uh, started thinking that to access the, the dwarf, I would need to use the largest bomb. That is apparently not the case, and I was a bit of a fool. Uh, let me drop off the wool in there. I need to get a chest for that. Ooh, actually, there's one more thing that we can try and do as well. I do believe that if you put a hat in here... <gasps> we've got a sailor urchin! Oh, that's fantastic. It's the perfect hat. Oh, I'm so happy. We put a little hat on an urchin. I, I, am, I am unreasonably happy about this turn of events. My lord. Uh, let's drop this off there. Uh, we can pop that in there. Actually, considering where we're going, let me go ahead and grab uh, an earth crystal, sure. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab? No, I think we've got everything else. Okay, right, I've got a plan. I'm fairly certain that uh, many of you have already worked out what my plan entails, but uh, we are going to go and see about a stable. I think it is high time for us to to get a uh, get a horse so we're gonna go straight over to the mines we do need to visit visit elliot as well but this will also allow us to say hello to the dwarf pop now we aren't going to be able to talk with the dwarf because we don't know the dwarf's language but we can at least introduce ourselves ens polotais du meus yol pan olai diol ohi niels tam mol sha na situ oliat sohno I concur. 100% agreement there. Don't worry. We will eventually learn your language and then we shall be friends. I have decided. Now, we also need to uh, go and say hello to Linus. Oh, there we are. Let's go ahead and take care of you. A little winter root. But we've got some foraged uh, fruit here for you. There you go. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. Thanks for stopping by. I was actually feeling a little lonely this morning. Oh, Linus. So, have you discovered anything interesting in the mines? As it happens, yes. A dwarf! Which is rather amazing. I mean, just randomly finding a dwarf in a mine is going to be pretty eventful, no matter what setting you're in. But in this one, it's literally... I just found an alien in the mine. Oh. Oh, we've got a cutscene. Okay. Hello. Oh, thank goodness. I finally learned some manners. I knock on the door. This is great news. I'm like, hi, come in. I don't mind if I do. Thank you very much for inviting me in, Maru. I like your wallpaper. I've been working on a new project. Something big. Okay. This is just one component. Let me show you a little demonstration. Okay. Just pop your hand here. Right. And now I'm going to flip this switch. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, are you all right? Well, I I don't know. Am I all right? How much energy is running through this thing? Here, let me apply this burn cream. Thank you very much. That was pretty amazing burn cream. Or I used to be a footballer. Uh, I'm so sorry. You better be. This hurts like crazy. Uh, uh, there's no... There's no... Re it was an accident. Accept the apology, but don't, don't make it worse. It's, it's okay. It doesn't even, uh, that one, it, like, clearly it did. It's, it's either pointless bravado or pointless cruelty, really, here. There's no in-between, but uh, of the two, I think one is less likely to make Maru feel worse, so we'll go with that one. Oh, no? Well, that makes me feel a little better, then. Thanks. I mean, there's no reason for me to make her feel worse. I kind of ruined the moment, huh? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm still interested, though. Oh, bless. I think she needs needs a moment. 
Hey, hi, Miguel. I've been daydreaming a lot lately. Oh, what off? Oh, you want to know what about? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> it's a secret. Hmm. Are you blushing? I think she was blushing. Hey, if any of your farming machines need to be fixed, just let me know. Uh, no? Thank you. Have this. This is a super gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't touch any of my farming machines. I don't want to be electrocuted anymore. Let's see, if seasonal nitrogen levels could be modelled by a piecewise function... Oh, sorry, I was analysing data and I didn't notice you there. Ah, uh, that is okay. Do you need anything? I guess I don't. I will leave you to analysing your data. Uh, see if your brother is in... No. Okay. Hello, Robin. How are you doing? Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I do, actually. It's a very beautiful area. Everything looks still after a fresh snow. Right. Well, I'm here to see if you have an, if I have enough money, because I'm not actually sure how much it's going to cost. But I'm fairly certain it was hardwood and iron. Oh, we do. Well, this is this is definitely in exchange of the of a gold tool, then. But tis time. Tis time for us to have a stable, and the stable shall go here, and we'll put some nice flooring just out front of the stable as well. Okay, I'll start work on your new stable first thing tomorrow. Thank you very, very much. Probably still going to take two days to get done, but uh, it's fine. Ooh, we'll go grab this as well on the way. Oink. Uh, Abigail? You've already given two gifts to Abigail, and Stardew Valley has a strict code on the amount of gifts that you're allowed to give. Uh, Stardew Valley, why? Okay, now there's... Another thing that I was meant to check on that I haven't checked on in a little while. Oh, we can get through uh, back here fairly easily. Okay. I... What? Did I just go into the water? I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Hello? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Can I Can I interact with it? Hmm. Oh, jet. oh, we got a stone Junimo. Well, that's rather awesome. I approve. Okay, well, uh, can I get up with the pickaxe? Yes, I can. Oh, that is amazing. We're going to have a stone Junimo and a stone owl now. Ah. Uh. Let's have a... Hello, Caroline. <sighs> hey, why? Ah! I want to say hello, at least. Do you think Abby would look better with her natural hair colour? Uh, I think she looks amazing already. She used to have light chestless coloured hair. Ah, uh, I mean... I'm sure she'd look good with that, too. I'm renting my room for money at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. Well, I'm glad. Hello, Pierre. Is it just me or is the cold draft in here? Uh, I'm fairly certain I closed the door. Maybe I didn't. Oh, my Lord, Gay Royley. Really. Why? Why Why do you hate happiness so much? My Lord. Uh, right. Oop, that's the wrong one. I want to check the quest. Monsters known as Squid Kid are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I would like an adventurer to enter the mines and slay one of these creatures. Uh... Hmm. I have never seen a squid kid. I have no idea. I ought to take a fishing seeing as how close the river is. I mean, that's definitely an option, Pam. It's, it's absolutely an option, yes. All right, let me go and see if I can't find the marvellous man himself. Hello, Wiggly Worms. I shall be back for you in just a moment. Hello? Hmm. No marvellous man. And time is running out. The Nautilus shell. Oh, do I... I don't need one of those anymore for the... Um, for the community centre. I, I kind of want to take back this coral and put it in the aquarium. At this point, <laughs> that's more, more important to me than making money out of it. Uh, anything else? 
Elliot should be heading back at some point soon. I don't want to risk missing him. Is he perhaps down on the pier? No. Okay. Well, hopefully we can actually catch him. There we go. Let's load back my fishing rod. No. Okay, well, I'll just check in his house and then I'll I'll just walk walk back. I'm bound to meet him on the way home at that point. No. Please don't tell me he, he went inside. Oh, thank goodness. How is it locked, though? I've been doing a little indoor exercise since it's often too cold to go out. Sorry if it's a little humid in the cabin. Uh, I That's fine. I'm glad you're keeping healthy, mate. Here you go. Ah, the copper bar I requested. And it's a beautiful one, too. Thank you very much, Avak. You're more than welcome. There we go. Tonk. Gold really wasn't the, the objective at this point. It was, it was just doing something nice for Ellie. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. Well, uh, I would be interested. Okay, rock rejuvenation. Well, the number of bats in the local caves has made mine dangerous. There's no way I could do 50 in two days, and I probably can't get this one either, unfortunately, so I'm going to just have to wait for those to expire. And then come back another day. Now, we've got to think about Harvey's birthday present. I guess it's interesting that some people are totally different than us, you know? I don't always understand why others act the way they do, but that's fine. Well, I'm glad you think like that. Hello, Marnie. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Hi, Leah. Hello, Alec. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Ah, uh, just chat, really. How's the cabin going? Pam isn't responding. It's just a shame. Good evening. Make yourself at home. I shall do guests. Thank you very much. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? Uh, I actually think I do, yes. I like that dish quite a bit. Hint, hint. It's hard to get fresh ingredients in the winter, huh? Hmm. I, lo I love how how just nonchalant and completely unashamed. Unabashed by, by dropping such an unsubtle hint. I love that about you, Emily. I truly do. Yes, I'm going to need a certain something. Okay, so... Hmm. I know that Harvey likes coffee, but it's coffee. I think he likes super meals because it's healthy. It's more expensive and it's a gamble, but I'm willing to take the gamble rather than to buy him coffee. There we go. Doing my best. Doing my best for you, man. Here you go, man. Oh. I I like winter, but I do feel bad for all the cold animals out there. I guess they're used to it, though. Like me. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Most animals that don't don't hibernate or, or, or seek some sort of uh, low-energy state of, of some, some sort, whether it's true hibernation or not, uh, are usually okay with it. They have their ways. All right, let's go and pop some more... Uh, some more coral and urchins into the aquarium. Also need to take care of the paper as well. And drop off a... Ca Ooh, I don't think I can pop this in there, actually. Oh, I can! Marvellous! I don't want to... No. How about... Yay! Oh, this is grand. Truly. Ah, you know what, though? Well, I have received advice that maybe I should just take the fish out of this as they they grow but I want their their um uh row and I'm not sure if I if I take the fish out would I still get row see it would make sense to me if I didn't in a, in a kind of gamey way you know but we'll, we'll have to consider that there we go let's uh, drop all of these off uh, pop the paper over here. I didn't actually check if I could put the Nautilus shell in there, though. Interestingly. Um, I should really do that. Uh, these can all go, I guess. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off the clay. 
of the wood. Now, where am I going to put this Junimo? I'm quite happy with with the owl there. Perhaps the Junimo can go down here. Keep the animals company once they're allowed out, of course. Perhaps we could have the Junimo just down here. I think that'll be lovely. Once that's all surrounded with grass, it's going to be beautiful. Right. Uh, next on the list of the... Hmm. What? What? Hello? Is that a tree stump? I think it must be. Yes, it was. How bizarre. Uh, right, let's go ahead and pop everything back in there. And we are pretty much done for the day. I will check if the Nautilus shell can be added to the aquarium, but I've got a funny feeling I probably can't. We'll try, though. So, clonk. No, I can't even interact with it in that way. So I guess the Nautilus shell... It's an ancient shell. I could pop it in here. Well, actually, I've already got two. Um, I'm going to keep one example of each of them. Just because I, I, I imagine there's someone who's going to want them. Uh, at some point, I just don't know who. So we'll, we'll hold off. It, it seems like it might be a decent gift to someone like Maru. Uh, we'll see, though. But with that, time for a snooze. We're not going to have made too much money today. But uh, hopefully... We'll get a little bit. What was that dunk sound, though? Hmm. We will have to have a look. There we go. All right, not too bad. All of the uh, all of the fish are kind of all congregated around the clam. Okay. Oh, we got a load of wine. Fantastic. Yoink! Let's grab everything there. And with that, I think it is time for us to pop a bunch more uh, wine on to go. Oh, actually, we might try and make some juices. Hello, Dayoko. Morning, Robin. Hopefully your work is keeping you warm. Grab some more row. I'll take care of the fish in just a moment. Rather than the crab pots. I like this music. I say, as I know that by going in here, I'm not going to have that music anymore, sadly. Right. Good morning. There we go. Right, let's get some milk. And also collect the cheese. I should probably have, have dropped by and collected that cheese through the night to, to work through the, the uh, backlog of milk that we have going right now, because now I've got more than one day's worth of backlog. This is going to be a little bit of a potch, but oh well. Let's get everything going there. There we are. Now, if we head on over uh, take care of the chickens. Uh, -da. Oh, there we go. Now, where are all the eggs? No, no, I don't want to eat it. That is the opposite of what I would like to do. There we are. And you as well. Sorted. Right, let's get all of this sorted. I think we're going to go down the mine today. Once we've given Harvey his birthday gift. And I forgot that to pop the milk pail in there. That is going to be a th uh, an ongoing problem. I can promise you. Uh, I am going to forget to drop off that milk pail so many times throughout this playthrough. Uh, right, let's get all of this going. There we are. And done. Now we've got glasses to recycle. Uh, oh, and uh, a letter to read as well. Starting tomorrow, a travelling merchant fleet will dock at Pelican Town for the yearly night market. The market starts at 5pm and will be in port for the next three days. Please visit the beach after 5pm to join the festivities. There's free coffee! <laughs> Daddy, why? Why? My lord. Uh, let's go with that. Of course, I'm going to go and drop off the snail and the crayfish. Actually, how much? Mm, I've only got seven sashimi at this point. I may need to consider getting a bit more of those. Uh, we will pop that in there. I do need to grab some more fruit, though. Oh, well, I could do veggies. 
But no, I'm I'm leaning more towards towards fruit. So let's go ahead and grab melons. We'll make some melon wine. There we go. Now then, where are we likely to find Harvey? Oh, I've also got to pop the rope into the chest down here as well, thinking about it. There we go. Now then, let's go and see if we can't find our doctor friend. Ooh, and some more crocuses as well. Not bad. Who have we given two gifts to? Oh, it's Sunday! I can give gifts to everyone! Oh, that's fantastic! Uh, but I have no gifts on. This is less than fantastic. But I really need to work... Uh, they, actually, Harvey... This is going to be... Uh, if this is something that Harvey likes... We've got four hearts right now. Let's see how, how high this meal can take Harvey. Let's go and find Harvey first, of course. Uh, right then, we'll try, first try the clinic. I believe Harvey actually lives above the clinic. Hello? Oh. Ah, Avak, I was just about to write you a letter. Oh. You see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual check. Fair enough. Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. I wasn't worried to begin with, to be honest. Uh, one of my uh, relatives uh, has a an unfortunate, kind of sad association with, with hospitals. Um, this comes from a country where uh, healthcare is not as, as free or, or easily available as it is here in Britain. And so as a result, many people wait a lot longer than they should to go to a doctor's office and, and certainly to go to a hospital because of the, the, the considerable expense that's associated with it. And so typically, things that might not have been a problem if they were caught early are quite aggravated by the time that someone can justify the need of going to a hospital. And so from her perspective, a hospital is a terrifying place because it's basically where people go to die. There's no there's no gentle way of putting that from her perspective. It, it's Hospitals are, are terrible places because the, people only go there when they're, they're right at the end. And uh, that's such a sad reality for her and and so you know I, I i guess in some places it is you know very worrying to the idea of having a checkup or if they find something wrong and then i have to pay loads of money to get it fixed whereas yeah it's like nah i've got no issue going to the doctors or the hospital if there's something wrong then please do fix it uh, it'll be fixed for free okay hold still please very well it also means that people are much more willing to go to the doctor's office before something gets so bad that they need to go to the hospital to fix it, typically. Ah. Uh... Oh, I'd already stopped. Sorry. I, I feel now that uh, I should have kept going. I just need to check your vitals. Hmm. Your pulse is high. Uh. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. <laughs> what? Now I'll, I'll take his professional uh, opinion. If it is high, it's probably because I just walked here from the farm. Okay, that makes sense. Well, you seem very healthy, Havoc. Thank you. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. I, I will try. <laughs> I can't promise that one, but I, I will bear that in mind. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for the checkup. It appears that uh, healthcare is also free. Yeah, or either that or I already have health insurance. Though, that being said, considering Junior Mart is always trying to fleece me for money, I, I'm not sure. Uh, no, 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 I don't I don't want to buy anything, though. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever actually bought anything from the, from the uh, pharmacy. Hello. I hate to say this, but I do make a lot more money during flu season. Uh, are we okay? I, that's the that's a reality of things. I, I don't think you need to, to hate to say it. it. It's nice that you that that your your moral compass is at odds with the fact that you are making more money, though. That, that's kind of probably a, a good sign. 
I guess if people stopped getting sick, I'd be out of business. Yeah, but you might find a different job. Don't get the wrong idea. I want people to be healthy, really. It's okay, I didn't get the wrong idea. Yeah, happy birthday, mate. Birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. You're more than welcome. Let's have a look. Ooh, it actually rose those hearts quite a lot. Wow. Yeah, a full two hearts. My goodness. There we go. All right, well, this uh, was a very productive uh, annual checkup, it appears. Hello, Jody. How are you doing? If I was rich, the first thing I would do is hire a maid and a chef. My goodness, that would be nice. Well, I mean, uh, would you like some sashimi? Thank you, this makes my day really special. You're more than welcome. <laughs> I'm not a chef by any any measure, but uh, still, I, I hope it uh, was nice. All right, let's check in on the quests. No, 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 no. Quests, please. Looking for a buddy to bring me a red mushroom. Mm, I don't think I've got a red mushroom anymore, sadly. And there's very little chance that I will find a red mushroom at this point. So, uh, sorry, Sam. Uh, right, we're going to go down the mines, I think. And enjoy our time down there, hopefully. Once we hit 10k, I will be looking to upgrade. Uh, see, the the suggestion against going for the pickaxe was that right now is the best time for me to use the pickaxe. Whereas I barely use the, uh, the watering can and the hoe very, very sparingly. So they wouldn't be bad options in that regard. However, using the the upgrading the pickaxe is going to make my mining runs so much more effective uh, uh, in, the, in the, the long run. I would like that stone. So let's see if you'll leave me alone. I'd rather not have to kill you. I don't need to. Uh, oh, too late. Okay. Oh, that is not going to help. I am facing the wrong way. I could move, but that would require me stop being lazy. My lord. I'm just going to keep swinging my sword until the things are dead, and I'm alive. Hopefully. Uh, it is possible that the, the result will be different, but we'll see. Oh, hello. No. Nope. No healing for you. Uh, let's uh, head on down. Those void essences are actually quite, quite useful for me right now. Some more stone. Marvellous. Yoink. Okay, let's try and get through all of this. Ooh, some more gold over there. Marvellous. I very much approve of this. We are being reasonably fortunate, considering the spirits are not in the best of moods. There we go. Actually, were the spirit ooh, uh, were the spirits in a bad mood today, or was that yesterday? Don't actually recall. Right, let's see. What are we gonna get? Oh, thank you very much. That will be exceptionally useful to me. Now, no, don't be naughty. Uh, my health is actually getting a little bit low. Let me gobble this down. Nomch. Right, let's see. Uh oh, gonna have to dig my way across here. Yeah, a little bit more gold. Certainly won't say no to that. I don't need to kill you two, so I'm not going to. Uh, now then, let's see. Ooh, a magma geode. I approve. All right, let's make our way across. Look for a stairs down. I mean, we've already got a stairs down but there, but uh, depending on how large this level is, it might actually be very nice if we can find another one closer to the uh, end of our exploration, because there could be all sorts of gold here, so I don't want to necessarily just move on without having uh, taken uh, the time to properly have a look. But we do at least know where the uh, stairs down is if we don't find another one. Got a shadow person over there. I do wish that you could, over time, befriend some of the creatures in the mines. You know, initially it's just, just some sort of, you know, grave misunderstanding, but uh, especially with the shadow people. Maybe not with the, the insects and, and things like that, but 
It feels particularly bad, especially when you eventually become friends with one of them, and yet you go down the mine and you're just a wholesale slaughter of their people. It's like, hmm. This doesn't make me feel good, but they will actively chase me down and attack me, so it's not like it's all on me, but I wish it was some way that you could, I don't know, broker some sort of peace talks with the shadow people. Some sort of item that you could wear that they would uh, know that uh, you, you weren't coming along to to uh, cause any trouble. That being said, perhaps the shadow people are, are fiercely territorial of the mines and the, the precious gems. Maybe these are especially important to them and uh, they're trying to discourage looters. Me. Pop. Ouch. Good hit. There we go. And down to 89 we go. It's only 5 p.m. We actually might get it a little bit further. Ooh. Well, maybe we'll be able to pick up the uh, rest of the quest then for Sam when we uh, head back up. Uh, we probably won't be able to deliver to Sam now, but we may be able to uh, pick the quest up and then deliver tomorrow. That would actually be quite useful. Ooh, some emeralds over there. Marvellous. There we go. I, I swear, every time I play this game, at some point through the through an episode, or maybe every two or three episodes, there will come a music track that reminds me so much of Chrono Trigger that I am possessed of the greatest urge to do a little, little let's play. It's not a very long game. It, it, it was kind of around before the age where um, Neverwinter Nights was like the, one of the first games that, that basically... Um, sold the game and, and uh, uh, I guess uh, advertised it based on how long the game was. You know, you got 80 hours worth of play time in the game. Oh my lord, you're doing a lot of damage, aren't you? Uh, and whilst with Neverwinter Nights, that was, that was legitimately 80 hours of, of solid content. Once other game companies kind of realized that, that people would buy games and would praise them based on, on the fact, oh, this offers 80 hours worth of gameplay. Then they just looked for ways to make their games take a long time to play. And that was not the same as what Neverwinter Nights did. Neverwinter Nights had 80 hours of solid content. It's just once they'd finished adding the content to the game, it turned out it was a... Aw, I'm not going to bother you guys. Um, it turned out that there was 80 hours of, of gameplay there. But then everyone kind of used that as the standard. And if it was less than 80 hours, then it was somehow less than. And, and the moment you start, this, this, is, this is the trick with this sort of thing. Any metric that, that you measure will become something that you, that you aspire towards. So because they, they measured this 80 hours, all sorts of games then started trying to aspire towards having longer games. And it's like, oh, that kind of backfired a little ways. Level 8 Dagger versus my level 5 sword. That is a similar amount of damage, but is significantly short of range. But it might actually still be useful. Uh, it's 7.50. We can go down a little bit further, I think. But maybe I'm going to use the bombs to uh, speed up the progress a bit. You know what? Sure. Pop a bomb there. That did not break this. Wow. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Wow, the uh, the quick attack with a dagger that's this powerful is a thing to be feared. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, we're probably going to be using the Chris as my primary weapon for a little while. As long as I can time the special moves properly. My goodness, that's a lot of damage. Okay, looks like we're going to have to hunt around a little bit more. Do I have any more bombs at all? Can I make any bombs? Make cherry bombs. Um, sure, I can make two. I'm not going to use them over here, though. Let's grab one down here. Then one around here, I think. Let's see what we got. Oh, nothing. Well, a little bit of iron, I suppose. That's not too bad. Nope. Thank you. Uh, well, it looks like we might actually just have to dig down then. That's unfortunate. If we'd been luckier... Oh, well, maybe we've got enough time, especially considering this is a coal level. 
So it's going to be more straightforward than others. It's got some nice stuff here, though, that I would really be remiss if I left behind. Sorry, I'm I'm in a hurry. Uh, you'll have to play next time. Oh. Okay, you need to go away. Uh, what we got over here? Got some jade as well. Very nice. Oink, and nope. Oof. Okay, this is going to be a large... Oh, dear. This is perhaps not the level that I'm going to be able to rush through. Ouch. Okay, you managed to catch me. Two gold there that I'd kind of like, but also I'm running out of time. Oh, never mind. That was remarkably useful. I was just bur burrowing through there so I could get to the stairs and leave, but uh, sure, okay, if you want to make it a little bit easier for me. I'll I'll take this. I will take it. All right, let's see what we got down here. And no. Okay, maybe a little bit. Because we've got to remember that I can still get back to the farm very quickly thanks to the minecart, so it's not quite as, as awful as it uh, is sometimes. There we go. Nothing there, sadly. Okay, let's uh, go up in this direction, see what we can find. Just looking for the way down at this point. If we can just leave nice and quickly, then we can unlock level 95. And we will be that much closer to hitting level 100 in the mines. I don't want to have to kill any of the creatures if I really don't have to. But I am getting a little bit concerned now. This is getting very late. And if we get knocked out down here, that is bad news bears for me. Okay, time for us to bail. Sadly, we did try, but that is a big nope. Leave the mine. Okay, grab my stuffs. Uh, oh, okay. I'm going to have to decide on what to leave behind here. Um, is there anything I really don't particularly care for? Uh, well, actually... I need to read this. I'll give me one extra little spot. It's a note of Maru's. Parts still needed for my greatest invention yet. Gold bar, iridium bar, battery pack, diamonds, strawberries. I think that's just a list of all the things that uh, Maru likes. And I think that's marvellous. She likes them because she's using them for her invention. The strawberries especially. You can't, you can't uh, downplay how integral to the operation of their invention, strawberries will be. Uh, right, do I have anything to just straight up sell? I don't. I really don't, sadly. Okay, well, let's uh, go through, drop off everything I can. It would be lovely if there was a, uh, a button to just dump things into nearby chests. Kind of like you have in Terraria. He didn't manage to uh, pick up Sam's order, sadly. But I'm sure, I'm sure Sam will understand. We we have to race back. There we go. Now before we go up to bed, hopefully I can still manage to smelt down some items and sort everything in there. You've honestly got a lot of items to smelt now. That is kind of glorious. My lord, the amount of gold though. Oof. Well, we're going to be smelting that for a long while. All right, time for us to head to bed. Do be sure to head home soon, Robin. Don't don't stay here that long. You don't need to. It always makes me worry. Ah, Nosta, everyone. That was that was an eventful day down the mines. We almost got to level ninety-five. It's a shame. A shame that we missed it, but uh, it was it was pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, there we are. Cranberry wine, hot pepper wine did uh, fairly well as well. There we are. I wonder what pepper wine would taste like. I am. I am perhaps dangerously curious about this. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for today's episode. I really do hope you enjoyed, though, and will be joining me for the next where we're going to check out the night market. Honestly, this will be the first time that I've ever encountered it. I've not even seen anything about the night market. I know nothing about what's going to be there, aside from a couple of vagaries that I, I picked up from patch notes here and there. But even those, I've mostly tried to uh, to avoid spoiling anything for myself. So I am very, very excited, and I hope you are as well. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.